all right well as you can see we're uh, in the shop tonight it's been a uh, pretty rainy all day so uh, we didn't get out there fishing but I thought maybe you guys want to check out how we uh, hand pour a set of uh, swim baits so uh, here we go thanks for hanging out all right so here we go um, first of all we only use dead-on plastics here and uh, um, we're running the Angling AI 5 inch swim baits and uh, no matter what we do the first thing we need is a uh, shad dot so let me adjust this and see hope y'all can see that guy ah. alright is that too is that better all right, that's about as good as we're gonna get, I guess. All right, so here's our lineup. We got a set two, um, a set of two five-inch swim baits. So first thing we do is we got some black in the microwave. We're gonna get that up to temp, and I'll show you how we do the shad dots on them. All right, while that heats up. I gotta say, if you're plant, want to do some hand pouring yourself, make sure you follow all safety precautions. Wear some good gloves. Make sure you got plenty of ventilation, and uh, just keep yourself safe. This could be it could get dangerous if you're not careful. All right, these are the Angling AI five-inch open pours with a little hook slot here. Now, there's lots of ways that people do this. This is the black for a shad dot. Some people use toothpicks or Q-tips. I like to just little drop. Just like that. See it? Right like that. Alright, let me get these other ones done. There you see all the shad dots are done. See there. Whoop. I flip it around the right way. They're all done. Now, the way I like to pour the spine the spine of it, the back, is to look up make it look more natural. I think it goes the line should go through and then cover the head a little bit. So what we're gonna do is build color build the back right now and I'll show you why in a minute let's get uh, that up to temp we're using uh, dead on plastic you can see it looks like milk but it comes out clear after you heat it up so we'll heat that up alright almost to temp I think another 30 seconds we'll have it See how it's clear now? Thirty more seconds. All right, here we go. It is to the time. All right, we're gonna use some MF watermelon green to start with. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll start there and see what happens. We're going to add a mixture of colors. There, maybe you can see that better. Mmm, still pretty thin. Nice. 
now <clears throat> we're going to add some color shift pigment mica powders to this and kind of give it a little vibe here it doesn't take much this is from uh, dipyourcar.com if you want to check that out watch what this does drip on the mold here and see what it's going to look like. And this is what it's going to look like. It's kind of cool. I think it's still pretty light though. Um, let's add a little bit more of that MR. Watermelon green to it. It looks dark in the cup, but it's not that dark when you get apply it. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. See, so I can still kind of see the knife through it. I want to. Don't want it so thick that the light don't refract through it. I think that's good. There's that color. That's gonna be the top. Alright, let me throw this back in the mic for a second. And then we'll put it in the vacuum chamber and get the all the uh, air bubbles out of there and when it's ready we'll be right back. I poured the, we got the back color first, it's because I like to do this, pour a little bit in the head, and then dump it up, see there, just a little bit, just in the head, and you just pinch off that side, let's get all these done real quick, You'll see why when we're done and you see the finished product, why it's so important to do it. It just has a better overall flow of color, you know. Actually, you can just pinch it, it comes right up. Nice clean edge. And last one. Put it back in. Set that over there because we need that for the top later. Okay. There, you see? Just the heads. Just that little bit. Here, wait, where are we at? Alright, just that little bit in the head. Kind of hard to see. And now, we put these back together. Put the hook slot in. Put this hook slot in. Now, clamp her up. You gotta clamp it real good to make sure it don't flash. Okay, there's that. Now, we gotta heat up some more plastic for uh, this is the, gonna be the belly. 
so let's heat this up and we'll be right back all right we're gonna put a little bit of dead on plastic snow shine in there this is a perfect adds a little pearl to a pearl shine to the belly for the most part it'll be clear but this just adds a little bit of sparkle to it I don't know if you can see that. Just a little bit of shine. Almost there. Heat that up a little bit longer. Then we'll vacuum chamber that and be right back when it's ready. Alright, now we're going to pour this. For the belly just to the top of where that hook slot is in there. This you gotta have control. Just a little dab. And then a little bit in this one. It's nice and slow. No rush. Alright. Now, we'll heat up some more plastic to do the vein. Alright. See how clear that gets? Look at that. Awesome. Okay. Now we're going to do a vein. I'm going to do it. My favorite combination for a vein. Got dead on plastics. Red rum. Doesn't take much of this stuff. Let's we'll just start with it. Let's do four, I guess. Four drops of that. Let's see what that does. Oh, yeah. See that? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's like a purplish red. Mm, I think a little bit more. Nope, oh, come here. One, two, three. So that's what, six drops? Seven drops? that color that's cool now what really spaces it up is that on plastic has their own flake and this that's it, it's 0.40 size meteor flake look at that look at that stuff crazy this really pops it up get about about a smidgen Put that in there, not quite the whole thing. <clears throat> that combination of red rum with meteor flake, man, it's pretty. Makes a good looking color. Look at that. That's a good looking color right there, man. Nice. Okay, let's get that back in the microwave, heat that up another probably 30 seconds and then we'll degas it, get all the air out of it and we'll be right back. Alright, now we got the vein, so we're going to pour the vein in best I can anyway, super slow, you want it coming? Cover just a bit, and I like to go up just to where the shed dot is, and it usually flows right where it needs to be by itself. A little bit on this one, all the way to the back. Alright, 
there's the vein. Now, remember the green we did at first? We're going to heat that back up and we're going to pour that on the back and cover it all up. We'll be right back. Alright, then we got that pretty green top. Just, I always start in the tail and see if I can do this without overflowing it. You got to stop it right even to the top. There's one. Nice and slow. I hope this isn't focused because I can't really take my eyes off of it. Nice and easy. Mm. Alright. Didn't make a mess. Just like that. Alright, well there it is. It's all poured up. Uh, this is going to take about about an hour, hour and a half at the most to uh, cool down. And uh, as soon as it's ready, we'll crack her open and see what happened. You really don't know what happens till it's all done. And uh, it's kind of like, you know, like Forrest said, it's like a like box of chocolates. You never know what you got. So uh, hopefully it worked out and uh, we'll see when it's uh, cooled down enough to open. All right, let's see what happened. This has been sitting here for about an hour and a half. So it feels cool to the touch. We'll see what happens. Let's check it out here. Let's zoom down here. All right. Take the clamps off. So let's, let's see, you guys are facing this way. All right, let's check it out. All right, you guys see it first. Let's get the other one out. Do this one my way. Oh yeah. Not good there. Nice. Cool man. Let's see if we can get this better view. Look at that. See that red rum with that black flake in there? Just a little bit of flake. Nice. Alright, I think we're going to use these beautiful eyes here. And those are green tarpons from Jetson Lure Eyes. Gorgeous color. Alright, let's glue these things in. And see what this looks like. Oh, but yeah. Just a little dab in the center. Gotta make sure 
where I got him going the right way here. I'm doing it all upside down. Push right down in. Oh. Beautiful. See what I mean about the head, why I do the head, it looks just, to me it looks more natural to come around and then look at how clear that belly is, look at that, you can see my fingers right there, and these will actually get even more clear as they sit, they're just fresh right now, but yeah, cool, awesome. Alright, that's how we make our uh, five inch swim baits. And uh, that's a set, we sell those on our website. So uh, if you uh, like this video, make sure you uh, like this for us. And uh, as always, thanks for hanging out with us.